And welcome back out here live at Tiger Stadium in Silsby, where if you could see us in between breaks, we are jumping up and down and dancing because it might only be in the 50s, but when yes. it's been 92 degrees, it's really cold. Erica Harris, who said it's not that cold back in studio. I mean, I thought my, time, my, my 15 years in the Midwest that I would have been just fine. No, I think my I body got accustomed you. to like this 9,500 degree heat. I I'm warned freezing. you. I, I my warned wife you. And I cold. warned you. Also, we want to bring up a mention of uh, District 12, 5A, yep. Division 2. I, I mentioned you know how now PNG has one loss, Crosby has one loss, Vider has one loss, one team without a loss, Barbers Hill. They beat Baytown Lee tonight 28 nothing. So that district is getting real interesting, that is real scary. fast. Really quick. I Another district that's getting interesting is down in 3A Division 1, and that's where Orangefield playing host to East Chambers. Orangefield undefeated this far into the season, 5-0 for the first time since 1988. East Chambers trying to end that winning streak. Hunter Ashworth coming through with that slot T, slot T Mafia up the middle for a big pickup. That's going to set up a Gunner Jones field goal. What a great name, Gunner. I love that name. Hashtag that. Beautiful. And that field goal is beautiful, too. It's 3 nothing. That's going to get the bleacher creatures going crazy out there in O field. Then Nolton Shelvin, though, coming off the reverse. And there goes that man. See you later. And that's what makes the Buccaneers so dangerous. That boy was on fire last week, too. They can score in a hurry. Orange field, though. Oh, look at that. Don't be sad. Don't be sad. <laughs> it's all right because I think that's East Chambers fan anyway, though. He was kind of happy. There goes Ashworth into the end zone, and Orangefield is back on top. We got ourselves a ball game in. Oh, are those Can we nachos? Get some of those? That looks very warm. Where are the nachos at for us? Nolton Shelvin, he had that long touchdown off the reverse earlier. He's about to take right, it into the end zone for his Nolton second Shelvin score. The Buccaneers around. are starting to get things together. Then it's the defense. Four a fumble. Braden Guillory knocking it down. Tristan Stewart is there to recover. And as we go to the final, East Chambers and has won it in Orangefield 28 23. Closer than I thought, Ash. I'm, I'm not going to lie. Thought. You know, we were we were respecting Orangefield. Yep. But a lot of people thought this is when they're going to hit that wall. And you didn't know if they were going to hang out with East Chambers, a team that nearly made the state semifinals last year. I think Orangefield, even a loss, proved something to for real. I mean, I, I, and I'll be the first to admit, Ash, I didn't think so. Yeah. I really didn't think so whatsoever. I, that's why I didn't have it in my top 10 in 409. I've been putting them in the top 10. I have. Sorry, Coach Smiley. I, I didn't. But, you know, <laughs> you know who got to watch this one tonight? Our very own Tyler yep. Segerman. He was there at F.L. McLean Stadium in Orangefield, USA, where he got <laughs> to see a great finish. Yeah. East Chambers win it. Uh, Tyler, take it away. Now, what you guys didn't see was the finish. East Chambers actually stopped Orangefield on fourth down to seal the win. And they, with that win and with that stop, they improved to 5-1 and one on the season. And now I'm joined by Coach Russ Sutherland for East Chambers. And, Coach, uh, let's just talk about that finish. Obviously, they came back, got it within one possession. You guys kind of stalled on your fourth down. And what were you able to do to hold them off there? Yeah, we were we were fortunate. Uh, you know, they were deep in their own territory. We were a little upset that we didn't convert on the fourth and two when we had the ball. If we convert there, the game's over. They had no more timeouts, so we had to go play defense for four downs, and our defense held. Right. Now, obviously, speaking of the offense, obviously your offense was able to move the ball despite that last drive. Uh, talk about your freshman quarterback. Obviously, you guys lose Cam Smith, the senior, uh, early in the season. What, what have you seen from your freshman to, to give you some hope and positivity? Yeah, Jacoby's really stepped hey, up. He, uh, he Jacoby's going to be a really good player. He has a lot of uh, natural ability, and right now he's working extremely hard learning our offense, and uh, he's just doing a great job leading thus far. Awesome. Now, obviously, you guys uh, stay, remain undefeated in district, which is always important. Uh, you guys improved to 5-1. and one. So what's going to be the biggest key for your team moving forward to finish out the season, get ready for playoffs? Well, it's, it's just one one game at a time. Uh, we have Kerberville next week, and uh, like I tell our kids, we still have a lot of improving to do, and uh, we just need to, to take it one practice at a time, one game at a time, and hopefully uh, by the end of the year, we're, we're a good football team as we move into the playoffs. Awesome. Well, I appreciate the time, Coach. I know it's a little chilly. He got some chicken after the game, so he's trying to warm himself up. I probably need a jet. Uh, but again, East Chambers holds off for the huge win in district, uh, winning 28-23 here in Orangeville. And like he mentioned, they will be home next week to play at Kirbyville. And again, East Chambers improves the 5-1 and one, and most importantly, remain in district play. Coach, go warm up. I'll try to do myself the same. Or I'll try to do the same myself. Back, Ashley, Mike, back to you guys. Yeah. 
you know, when you looked at this one, there's still plenty of football to play, but it kind of yeah. felt like East Chambers in Orangefield is going to be that district championship game because, you know what, East Chambers already got past Woodville, and the Eagles just aren't the same this year. No, the, 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 I mean, they're really not, but I'll tell you what, man, that Buccaneers rushing attack between Shelvin and Ernest Caesar the third. The third. The third. He, he's quickly become him, – him and Ethan McCollum, I'll tell you what, uh -oh. two of my favorites. It's something about green and gold. You're right. Wow. Really Who would ever thunk it from a PNG Indian? Green and gold would be your thing. I'm still scalp them. Hashtag scalp them. Hashtag scalp them. I'm still an Indian fan. But you know, about it. we did talk about Woodville there. 